Hello everyone, oh, welcome to lunchtime. Well, last week I was not in, so you didn't see me live last week. So today, this has been on my desk for a couple weeks, and um, to be honest with you, I gather a little bits here and there, and then I made this mess. See how cute it is. So that's what I'm going to share with you today. So it's going to be a quick, a simple. They look a lot more complicated than they are. And I know the main question is going to be, can we mail that? Absolutely, you can mail that. But it's a big but here. It's that you want to use the non-machinable uh, stamp uh, to mail this. And the reason why, it's because it's going to be bulky. It's going to fit in a regular envelope. Let me gather an envelope here. And you're going to see it fit perfectly. It's just that it's bulky. Because of I want the mask to stay up. I got three dimensional back there. Uh, some people like to put cotton ball. So it give kind of a, a push. You can try that. It's just I wanted my mask to keep the full shape. So we're going to see how it works in a minute. So I see people are uh, coming uh, in. Well, good morning, everyone. I'm glad that you are joining me. So I'm going to flip you down right away. And we're going to start our lunchtime with a little bit of stamping. So let's get going. So let me flip you down. And around you go and down. Hmm, that looks pretty good right now. Let's hope that's good. Here we go. So, first thing we want to do is I am using the designer series paper that I choose to use for today. It is from Whale of a Time. I thought those prints were nice to uh, do the mats. You can use any print that you want. It's just that these print I thought they were nice. So that's what we're using. And now for some reason it got dark and light. Let me click on one button here. Um, I think it's this one. Okay, the white balance, it's good. That should be good. Okay, let's hope that's going to do the trick. Let's oh, Okay, so I, uh, I wanted to emboss and I didn't, so I'm going to emboss this quick and I'm going to show you. I thought I did it. Okay. Okay, I embossed this with the Seabed 3D embossing folder. And voila, I thought that was cool to have in the background. And really, I sh it should have went this way. That's okay. It's still going to be covered. So that's what I embossed it with. Let me flip this screen here so I can see your comment. So I got the, the, uh, the background. This one was in Pretty Peacock because I went with some of the blue in there. This one I used just jade. Because I'm using this print here, and you see those little fishy are the color is just jade, and I thought that's gonna work lovely with this. So, and I was doing it in white the back, but you know what? I'm switching that. No, you know what? We're gonna keep in black in white. You know what? No, let's do a, something different here. I'm going to use get a piece here of just J. Well, first, let's remove this out of the way. So the piece of cardstock that I am using measure two and three quarter by two and one eight. And all this here needs to be moved. Here we go. Two and one eight. Now, we want to score on the two and this is my little sample here. Yeah, two at one eight at the top. And then we're gonna score, and because it's designer sear paper, I'm gonna use the the fatter tip. That it's much better, so then it's um, if you use the small tip a lot of time or hand or use press art and you're gonna rip the paper. So okay, let's start. And this is gonna have 
funky measurement, I put it in the description. So after it's done, it take a little bit of time and then the video is going to be back uh, up there. You can get all the measurement there, okay? So you put that at 2 and uh, 1 8. You're going to score at half inch, fat tip, half inch, and then you're going to score at 5 8. 5 8, it's the line right after the uh, half inch, the tiny line there, half inch. Now you're going to go at 1 and 1 and 1 8, it's the little line right after. And then you're going to score at, um, hmm, I think I forgot a measurement in that. I'm going to check my measurement, don't uh, mark that right away. I mean, from the top in the description, I think I forgot to mark my uh, one and a half. Then you're going to go at one and a half, and then one and five eight, it's the little line right after the one and a half. Okay, so it's all those little lines after. I'm going to flip this because it's going on both ways, and I'm going to score again all the same measurement just so it's going to fold easier. So it's half inch. And then it's 5 8, it's the line right after. So every half inch or uh, full uh, measurement, you go the line after. Then it's 1, 1 and 1 8, right after. And then it's 1 and a half, and 1 and, a, and, one and 5 8, it's the one right after. See how simple that was? Now I know every time I talk about measurement of the 5 8, 1 16 and so on, 3 8 and people get very confused. Let me share a little tip at this lunchtime here. If you look between 1 inch increment there, this is divided by 8. You get like my um, Victor uh, uh, Easy Reader I got that on Amazon. Everybody asks me where I get that. It's called the Easy Reader, Easy Reader Ruler by Victor. This one go by 16. So that means you get 16 line in between your inch. So every little line count as one. This one it's divided by eight. So you get if you count them one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if you get five eight, you're gonna count five little line one two three four five so that's how it works the number below it's the number how many per inch that you get so if you get 316 that mean it or uh, 516 that mean every little line count here because you get 16 line for your inch so you get your 16 below if it's 8, see that that would be then the medium line. That's how the number below it's how many line you get per your inch. The number above it's how many you go from that. Hopefully that explained a little bit. Okay, now let me move this aside. I think maybe we're going to need it again. And now what we're going to do, I want this print in the front. So we're going to score... Uh, how do I score it? I'm going to score it. We're going to make an accordion here. Here we go. This way. So you're going to go down. Oh, the first little line. We're going to go down. And then we're going to go up to the next line. And then we're going to reinforce that when we're all done. Up. And then the next line down. So we got, oh, this one was wrong. We get up and then down. Okay, so now see we folded that in, out, in, out, in, out. Got it? Now we're going to take a bone folder and you're going to press this very lovely and this very lovely. Absolutely, you want to reinforce this very much so. Okay, 
I was thinking I was doing all in the white. Well, I don't want to do in the white. I think it's going to look better uh, in the jade. Let me see this. The, line, the white would uh, pop this up, though, than if I do J, because it's going to be on J. We're going to do on J. That's it. Okay. Let me bring um, this here, and I'm just going to cut that. It doesn't matter the length, because we're going to go with the flow. I'm going to cut that there, and then I'm going to cut, uh, let's see here. This is about half inch so um, let's cut that at half inch and then we're going to score at um, I want to say that would be about 1 8 yeah 1 8 so let's bring back our score okay let I one's going to be enough though okay one's going to be enough because that is just for the side Let's cut this one here at um, F one one quarter. I'm gonna go um, just a little bit between the one quarter, so a little bit more than one eight. I just want like a skinny strip, okay? So it doesn't matter as long as it's all the same. So I'm gonna cut this here. See, so that is, and then I'm going to need this one here. I'm going to cut in half. This is going to be for the, the thing that go around your ears, okay? So you just want a little strip. Oh, they're not quite the same. Okay, this is the same here. Okay, we're going to use those one for the ears. Here we go. Let's bring back the um, scoreboard and this strip that measure uh, half inch, we're going to score this at 1 8. And now I'm using the fine tip. And I want to score that very tight. Stay in place. It's because it's just a tiny score, that's why I hold it very tight so it stays straight, okay? Okay, now we're going to take this, now the trick again, absolutely, you got it. We want to reinforce this super tight. That is bugging me for some reason. It was just distracting me, that little piece there. Okay, now this is folded. We're going to take, I could have went maybe a little bit bigger. Let's see. Here we go. And make sure that you get enough to go around there. Okay, now we're going to take our mask. We're going to take can I do two of this with one? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna take, cause this is almost, that is perfect. We're gonna take that little strip here that we have. Let me bring my silicone mat, though. That's gonna help big time. We're gonna take this. We This is the fine tip glue, but I put a Tombow liquid glue in this. When it was empty, almost empty, I, I put liquid glue because I love this tip. Many of you complain that it's uh, getting stuck. I hate to see, but I think it's uh, handling error. When you're done, you want to tap this very lovely so the glue is removed from the needle, the, the nose there. And you want to make sure you take the needle and put it in the nose there. Just like you're doing a COVID-19 test. Put it right in the nose. Boom. <laughs> Here we go. So now what we're going to do, we're going to put just a tiny line of glue right here. And I'm not cutting. I'm going to cut after it's glue, okay? 
I think it's make it a lot easier when you work with bits and pieces to just cut after. So in another word, you want to uh, add it longer than you need. Now if I can find scissors, we're going to cut that right here from the back, always from the back, snip it this. Now we're going to go at the bottom and we're going to do another fine little strip of the glue. Here we go. Now we're going to use this little strip here and we're going to put that right there. Yeah, I think we're getting out of COVID, but it looks like uh, many places are going to shut down again. I don't know about your area, but I know Texas is not looking good. Here we go. Okay, now again, take your bone folder, make sure that you get a good bond to this. Okay, very much so a good bond. Now this little strip here, this here is going to go right here. And right there, I don't like the way it fit. So, because I know I got way longer, I'm just going to put that there and cut that so it's straight. Now, I'm going to take this, and this one here, what I'm going to do is put the glue right here. Here we go and keep that shut okay keep that all the way shut put that in and then roll that roll 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 never mind i didn't went right at the side there we will fix that all that take that there till it's completely bonded because you get all those bumpy so i'm going to go ahead and flat that up very good here Okay, now I'm going to cut that right here. Make sure you don't cut in your mass. And then I'm going to come right here. Et voila. Now we get, and the reason you want to hold in the bag here, okay? Now we're going to do the same thing with the other one. I'm going to do this end because it seemed that end that glue and get smashed and going to put that right here and I'm going to put that right down here right at this core line there and you're rolling it roll it because you have to grab so you have to push it because it's not because you don't want too much of a big uh, that it would be, I guess, because you would lose all the view of your uh, mask. So you just want a tiny binding around your mask. There. And then I'm going to come right here. Et voila. See, was that simple or what? I think that was simple. Okay, now that it's done, we're going to let me put my glue away, like I said. You want to make sure you close that right away so the barrel or the needle, the, the nose don't get plugged. Okay, now what we're going to do is take your mask here and you're going to pull and pull and pull. You want to keep the shape at the end there, see? You just work that out a bit. See how it's taking shape? So just the center, you see that? Okay, this, I don't like that there. I got the kink, I'm gonna push it a bit. Okay, now we're gonna take tear and, tear and tape, and that's what's gonna hold the shape in. So, I just want to make sure, see here, I get kind of a kink, i just going to... Here I go. I'm going to take my tear and tape, I'm putting it in the back, and push it as I go. Oops.
and then I'm going to pull there a bit. Okay, that looked pretty good. Really reinforce that in the back. I'm going to take my scissors here. Really, I could keep that there because really, yeah, I don't even have to remove that because you could put a piece of cardstock, but I don't feel it's a must. I'm just going to keep it this way. Here we go. Okay, now for our, um, whatever, the bracket around our ears there. Let me fold this right in two here. And we're going to cut that right in two. Okay, let's see if this is... Uh, this is perfect. Okay, how long is this? I bet you guys going to... Uh, Ask me how long is it, because I didn't have no clue. Uh, three and three quarter about, okay? Now we're going to use glue dots for this. Here it is. And I'm going to put the glue dots here. That's gonna, and then here. And that's going to get put right there. Turn it around. See, you just flip. Now you get the handle. Oh, maybe it's somebody with big ears. That's okay. It's good. I think it's kind of long. Okay, before I start this time, I'm just going to curl it with my fingers. Here we go. Now we're going to... Somebody asked me, and you know, I don't see all your comments because sometimes they come fast and sometimes I'm busy looking at what I'm doing. You are asking me, what's this? The other one was black. I switched. My black was... It's just a piece of ribbon that I tie so it keep my uh, paper there so it don't keep on rolling and then I get glue dots everywhere. And you don't want it too tight. At the beginning, it's going to be a bit tighter, but that way it's easy to keep it uh, rolling. See, I just go, boom. It's worked wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay. Now, oh, I already got glue dots there. I'm going to put that right in the back there and turn it in. Et voila. See, our little mask, it's done. Is that the cutest little mask or what? Okay, let's finish the card. And I was thinking, what or what or what to put it with? Well, I'm using a few stamp set. Yes, a few stamp set. So, um, I got a uh, lovely you that we're going to use also the lovely label pick a punch and just because that's why you're wearing a mask just because and then that I love and care about you you're wearing a mask just because that I love and care about you or you can put just because I love and care about you. We're going to remove the dad this time, okay? I'm going to share with you how we're going to do that. So let me get a piece of uh, white card stuff that I didn't get out here. I got one already folded. Here we go. Eight and a half by um, eight and a half by five and a half. Score at four and a quarter. We got a card front. I embossed that with the seabed like I shared at the beginning. Now let me bring my seal, lay this down, and just, and when you stop, go facing you. And when you start, it go right in, you stop facing you. Stop, you don't check sideways, you just stop, and you, you kind of lift in and lock. It worked wonderful. Yes, it is a curve to learn this, but you know me. I like good glue and that it's amazing like when I was using fast fuse I absolutely love a glue that stay glue down and especially here when it's a hundred plus and with the humidity you need a glued glue if not it's going to lift right up so now you get this now I got a piece of white cardstock here that measure three quarter, and I don't know the length. We're gonna find out in a minute. Well, let me measure it. 
three quarter by three and three quarters. So three quarter by three and three quarter. I'm going to use this stamp set, uh, where is it, here, just because we're going to stamp that in just J. This one was stamped in Pretty Peacock. And you know what? Let's punch that out with the first. So when you use this punch, you want to slide it in. So the size that you can get, it's one and a half, I mean, half inch, three quarter, and one. That's the slot there. And sometimes you think you hit the wall in the back and it's not right now, it's there. You can always flip it like this to make sure it's there. Now, <clears throat> let's, because uh, I know this is too long here. I'm going to stem my just because right here. And let's see. Um, can I cut one inch so we know? No. Um, three quarter. Okay, so it's going to be three quarter. Oops. Three quarter by three because I'm removing three quarter of an inch. And it was three and three quarter. Okay, so this strip here, if you start with. It's going to be three inch by three and three quarter. And then I'm going to put that. So the first one goes this way, and then I like to flip it upside down. I feel that match better. I just want to make sure that it's lined up straight in the back, and it is. And punch. Now I got it. See? Oh, I move it before. That's okay. So now we're going to take this, and this is going to go here, and then we're going to stamp the inside and see it's done. But first I'm going to share if I can find it. So what i done for my uh, mask there, like I said, some people would put a cotton ball there, and whatever you prefer. I decide I was doing three dimension. So I did a tower of dimension. Cotton ball would be softer. Absolutely. So maybe it would be more friendly to mail. So uh, I'm going to put three dimensional. So it's going to be thicker. So you're going to need more post postage to mail that. Absolutely. Oops. It's because it's on top of that there. Here we go. But it's mailable. Absolutely. Okay. Let me get now uh, glue dots. And what I'm going to do with my glue dots, I'm going to put glue dots right in the back here where we put the earpiece or the string for the earpiece. Right here. And over here. Okay, before I glue that, though, let's do the inside. And the inside here, I got, this is three quarter by three and three quarter. It was the same size. But what I'm going to do, it's um, use the brush tip from the marker, just J. And I'm going to know that, okay, I, just because I love, because we don't want the whole thing, okay? So I'm just coloring what I want and then I'm going to huff on this and I'm going to stand that right here. Okay, so in the front it says just because I love and care about you. That's why you're wearing a mask, right? It's really it's for the people around you. So then I thought, oh, it's missing something there. So I took the stamp set meant to be and I'm using the little hearts in that. And then I'm going to come right here. And I'm going to put one and two. And then I'm going to put the third one here. So just say it's decorated a little bit more. And that is too long again. So let me uh, trim that. So let's try if we can put that at three inch too. No, it's going to be less than three inch. Uh, it's going to be at two and three quarter. Okay, so three quarter wide by two and three quarter. This one measure one inch, I think, and I'm going to go at three. 
Yeah, I'm doing a border inside because I thought it was kind of plain inside, just stamping just the grating there. So I decide to uh, do the border. Oh, that's too much. Let's see what I did here. That's too long. Maybe it was two and a half. So just play with your uh, grating inside. You don't want too much, but then you want a little border there. Here we go. And that's pretty much the way that I stamp. I don't measure. I just go with the flow. Oh, this is a, a granite air. Uh, it's the same thing the way that I cook. I mean, a bit of this and a bit of that. Okay, now I don't see the common. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, now it is. Okay, for some reason it stopped the comment. So now we're going to put that right in here. See, with the outline, how it dress up this card. Now we got our mask that it's ready to put right here. So the only thing that, you know, the the earpiece don't pop out like this one, but I really like around the mask the color that match the mask. So maybe I could have done a blue in the back of this, so then this would have matched up better if I would have done in the Night of Navy there. And then I'm going to put that there. And that I won't raise it up. I'm just going to put it straight down. Oops. Here we go. That's about it, my friends. See? Boom, boom. How cute they are. My um, piece are a bit long here. I could shrink that up a bit, but I think you get the jig of it, right? So that is it for my lunch time for uh, this week. Make sure, let me flip you so I can talk to you a bit. Here we go. Make sure that tomorrow that you... Uh, Come at FrenchyStamps.com and I got something special uh, going on starting tomorrow. So uh, make sure you come. Maybe it's going to be a little bit of uh, something to cool the weather a little bit, a little in and in, in there. So I hope you're going to come and check my blog tomorrow at FrenchyStamps.com. You can come check it today. I got uh, Monday, Monday, Monday. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I share a video. And then on Tuesday and Saturday, I do uh, just a blog I mean, just it's a blog post with step-by-step -step, uh, whatever how to make the car. And Thursday, it's my newsletter. And then uh, Sunday, it's a day off. So um, if you're not a subscriber of my YouTube, right below here, subscribe, so then you won't miss anything. After you subscribe, you want to hit that little bell and uh, hit the notification, so then when I go live or I post video, you get notified. So if you're busy, then you know I did share a video, you can come back later and so on, so then you don't miss nothing. Also on my blog, you can subscribe for my newsletter and get also subscribed for my blog feed so it would come in your uh, email. That's about it for today. I hope you're having a lovely day. Stay, stay in, stay safe. Uh, I don't know what else to say. Put that mask on. Thank you so much and have a lovely week, my friend. Bye-bye for now.